Hello there everybody, happy Friday, hope you have a, had a fantastic week. I've had quite a lot of questions again, I've just done a, another little tiny video in regards to some of the annotation tools and how and who can we see that's typed the particular annotations. I've also had quite a lot of people asking me, well how do I create the whiteboards? What are they? So the way I'll show you this is if I actually come back off um, the annotation tools that were just switched on just a second ago and I click out of that particular slide here you can then start to see my slide deck and all this is literally is just um, a PowerPoint slide with a heading at the top if I click on the grid I can move the grid down it's just a grid I'll show you how to do that in a second and it's just an image behind that I have just made full screen but what I, can, what I can also do with that image is if I right click on the image, you can format picture and if you click on the image on the right hand side, you can actually make it more transparent. So when the individuals are actually writing on it, then of course you can see it as the facilitator and read that back. Super handy um, because you need to actually see of course what people have written and it kind of stands out a bit better as well if you just make it just a little bit transparent. So how do we get the grid on then? Well all we simply do uh, with, with the grid, again it's just, just, just as simple if you like in regards to how we actually get it on in the first place, obviously there's a grid there. We just go up into insert table, click that down. In this case I've got, I don't know, eight lanes with two sections of the grid, which of course you can move so I can select one lane, two lanes because of course we want to allow people to type their name in the left hand column sometimes people like to do that and as we um, let me go back one I'll click insert again and table as I select the two move all the way down two lanes if you like and that would give me eight lines so how then do we make it transparent so we simply click on the grid right click format shape and then all we do is no fill click on the no fill and then what that will do is actually give us a grid there that is transparent just exactly like the grid underneath so how do we get the lines on it then because I've obviously got the lines on this one under here all we need to do with this one is borders and then we just click on all borders and if I wanted to move that center line there I just simply slide it across and then of course I can either stretch it out or make it however it is I wanted to make it whatever shape so even if I deleted that one behind I can now make this one the main grid and I can position it and size it wherever it is that I want to size it on to the slide just by simply dragging it out and resizing that and then we have another grid on top of well I've just got rid of the other grid um, so the learners can type on what's called a swim lane whiteboard hope that's helpful have a great weekend